OK TV. This is News OK TV. Hello and welcome to News OK TV. I'm Dave Morris. It's Thursday, October 6th. The world is mourning the loss of Apple co-founder and innovator Steve Jobs. Jobs passed away Wednesday at the age of 56. He started Apple with a high school friend in a Silicon Valley garage back in 1976. He was forced out a decade later. Jobs returned to rescue the company in 1997. Now, during his second stint with the corporation, it grew to become the most valuable technology company in the world. In recent years, the Apple CEO battled cancer and underwent a liver transplant. He resigned as Apple CEO in August. In Oklahoma weather, a slow-moving upper-level low is expected to bring rain to Oklahoma and North Texas this weekend. The greatest amounts of rain are expected in western Oklahoma. Highs will be in the 80s on Friday and into the 70s over the weekend. Former Sooner basketball star and current LA Clippers athlete Blake Griffin will be on ESPN's Game Day. Griffin will be the show's celebrity guest picker. This week marks the fifth time that Game Day will host its show from the OU Texas game. OU President David Bourne thinks the Big 12 can survive with or without Missouri. On Tuesday, Missouri made it known the school was exploring other conference options. Bourne said the league's expansion committee was looking at three or four good choices. University president added the Big 12 could be ready to offer and accept invitations in a week to 10 days. Conference leaders have considered Brigham Young, Cincinnati, Houston, Louisville, Southern Methodist, Texas Christian, West Virginia, all of those as possible candidates for expansion. Those of you traveling to Dallas this weekend for the OU Texas game should find all the lanes on I-35 open. Yes, open. However, transportation officials say motorists should expect that traffic to be heavier from Thursday to early Saturday. Hank Williams Jr. will not sing the theme song for Monday Night Football on ESPN again. The network pulled the intro this week after Williams used an analogy to Adolf Hitler while talking about President Barack Obama. The singer and ESPN have since decided to part ways. The NBA has canceled the rest of the league's preseason games. The regular season games are also on the chopping block now. The Oklahoma City Thunder is supposed to be a part of a nationally televised opening night doubleheader on November 1st against the LA Lakers. That would just be one of eight games the Thunder could lose if matchups through November 14th are canceled. With no additional negotiations scheduled, the league is at risk of losing additional chunks of the regular season. The Oklahoma City Zoo is collecting pumpkins to decorate the grounds for the annual Haunt the Zoo event. Here's the info. Visitors can get free admission for donating pumpkins larger than their heads. That's right. The pumpkin drive ends on Sunday. And so, yes, yeah, Steve Jobs did pass away yesterday, and his mark on the world uh, can be seen in large and small ways. Here at the Apopka Studios, we are completely a Mac-based shop. In fact, I have an iPad on the desk right now. So his legacy and innovation has affected millions of people. That'll do it for News OK TV. Be sure to stay with News OK throughout the day for the latest news and information. Have a great day, everyone.